Okay, um, I just wanted to uh, ma make another uh, quick clip. Um, nothing really to do with the, the cruise or anything else that I've done with it because I'm still waiting on a new valve cover. I had it, um, had it, uh, well, the only quick shipping method I could do was a uh, two day uh, priority mail. So it still doesn't get here, gotten here. I'm pretty sure it'll be here um, Monday. So Monday I'll have it on and running. I'll be able to throw another video on YouTube with an update and hopefully I can log it and everything. I just uh, wanted to make a quick video of my, my method of how I make my uh, boost juice for the, uh, for the water meth. That, by the way, is the Snow Performance water meth pump. My, uh, the, the lines run on the underbody of the car. Uh, it's a trunk mount tank. Uh, for the trunk mount setup, you have to have the additional solenoid mounted underneath the car to, uh, so it prevents any suction after the car is off and prevents any uh, water meth from leaking into the intake through, through that port. Once you shut the car off, um, so yeah, pretty much where I get my stuff. Well, first off, if you're gonna buy it, you can either use windshield washer fluid, which is like 33% um, methyl alcohol, and the rest is water and just food dye, or you can purchase Boost Juice, which is you can get it from Snow Performance's website. You can get it from a variety of places on off the internet. I'm not sure of any places that really um, sell sell it like in store. You'll, I think you can only really order it, but it's I think it's like forty dollars for uh, four gallons. Okay, like I was saying, forty dollars for for um, four gallons, which is kind of steep. Or you can go the uh, cost-efficient way and mix it yourself, and you can get it's right around like 10 to 12 gallons, maybe maybe a hair more for anywhere from 30 to 40 bucks. It's like it it ranges depending on how much you pay for uh, the distilled water, which is it's nothing. It's like a dollar 99 cents, maybe a dollar 50 at some places, and you can get distilled water from basically anywhere almost. But um, what I do, I had luckily I have a um, a VP Racing Fuels location right uh, close by, so I just go there and get myself a, a five gallon jug. It's metal, just a metal container of uh, M pure uh, M1 methanol racing fuel, and. You can go and get just a jug of this, just regular distilled water. The brand name doesn't really matter. Um, uh, yeah, brand name doesn't matter. Um, what I did was I got just an old gallon jug and I used a regular like cooking measuring cup and just pretty much found out how much like where I would need to fill it to uh, in order for it to be a 50-50 mixture by weight because you want to do this by weight because I think I'm pretty sure alcohol methyl alcohol uh, weighs more than distilled water so yeah it does so it's it's um 44% distilled water and 56% uh, methyl alcohol is a 50-50 mixture by weight. So, um, pre uh, pretty much, I already got, you know, this is the jug that I use every time. So it's already marked out. That's those little marks of the line. That's how much uh, um, M1 methanol I'm f uh, putting in. And then I just use a funnel and fill the rest with distilled water and usually I'll put it in a little bit 
bigger of a container usually like this this is already this is just one of the containers I use it's already mixed um, water meth or boost juice if you would call it I don't use food dye it's just you know unnecessary um, yeah if you know you're not going to get it dead on or perfect every time like the the line where, where to fill it if you're going to do if you're going to go over or under on either one of the uh, the distilled water or the methanol I usually try and add a hair more methanol just because you know water distilled water obviously doesn't have an octane rating so I'd rather be running a little bit uh, rich than a little bit lean um, that's that's pretty much it this um, having having the VP racing fuels uh, location right by my house is kind of convenient not everyone is going to have that close by so if you can mix it yourself I would strongly recommend doing it it's it's a lot more cost cost effective I mean I have not purchased like a jug of boost juice or uh, windshield washer fluid or anything since I bought this tank and I got this thing in distilled water which isn't even open yet and another thing and I mean I got those probably close to a year ago maybe a little bit a little bit longer than that and it's still I mean this is it's it's still at least half probably a little bit more than half full um, if you do decide to go this route and mix it yourself, just make sure when uh, when you store this after you break the seal, uh, just make sure it's on really tight because methyl alcohol attracts a lot of moisture. And if you you know spill it on any kind of metal or if you get it anywhere on anything that can rust, chances are it's going to rust and it's going to rust real quick. Um, and methyl alcohol does have a shelf life if it's not sealed properly as long as it's 100 percent sealed it has no shelf life you you know you can store it for however long you need to but just make sure that that cap is on as tight as you can get it and it's airtight um, if you're you're currently using uh, say either e either one of the two the boost juice or windshield washer fluid and you do go to this method and you mix it yourself the first like if you run it com the tank completely dry and then you put the mixture in with the uh, the M1 racing fuel and the distilled water um, chances are at uh, high engine load or like like if you, the first time you really get on it and it sprays um, you could have a you know a slight misfire it I don't know if it's going to happen with everyone but I know when I switched I did have a misfire at it was I was like why it was wide open throttle I'm pretty sure but it was the first time I had got on it um, when I started mixing it myself and it had a misfire and I contacted I sent Brian from Vermont tuning a log contacted him and I said it it misfired I don't I didn't touch the settings on my on my uh, water meth control or anything and I told him I did switch to the uh, mixing it myself and uh, with a jug of uh, M1 racing fuel and distilled water and he said it it's most likely just because the um, the the uh, ECM isn't wasn't really uh, used to having to having the M1 and just like that the M1 racing fuel in the distilled water. So, um, yeah. Just leave any questions you guys got in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. One thing I did uh, forget to throw in, uh, kind of really important, but uh, the M1 racing fuel from VP Racing Fuels is uh, $39.99. So, and you get a jug or two, which however many you're gonna need, they'll be anywhere from like 99 cents to say two dollars.